Good morning. Um, another day, another video. <coughs> so, got a lot of bisque ware um, fresh out of the kiln. Um, the next job is to make sure when I glaze these, I don't want glaze in the bottoms and I don't want to have to tidy it off. So we put wax on, wax resist. And if you thought my last video was boring, you've seen nothing yet. So, here we go. basically what the wax does when it's dried it puts a film on the bottom of the pot and glaze does not stick to it so it just makes your life a bit easier but it's not the most dynamic aspect of pottery that's for sure There's just a lot more to the pottery process than people maybe realise. So that's one done. It's also one of the biggest pots I've ever made. as good as it's gonna get so on the bigger ones when you're doing pots one-handed and I don't do it one-handed by choice people um, I lost the use of my right arm in a motorcycle accident about 20 years ago and I've never done pottery two-handed but anyway the point I was making when you make bigger pots, one-handed, they're maybe not going to be as symmetrical as perhaps you'd like. So you don't have quite as much control. Look how many people put a pot upside down and spin it. So it's all good. There are other forms of wax you can use, I believe. I just go with liquid wax resist, it's easier. That bit I didn't want to happen because glaze won't stick to that. So I'll wipe it off and then I'll get a heat gun on that just to get rid of it. But as the videos goes, this probably doesn't get much more boring, but. You know, if you can chill out watching this, that's not a bad thing. So what the wax resist does, it saves you a world of heart when you come to glaze the pieces.
wee bit of clay that I'd um, obviously forgot to wipe off before the bisque fire. I told you this video would be riveting. But next time you buy a piece of pottery, you know, and you think, well, that's, that's not, that's a bit expensive, but I can't afford whatever. Hopefully by watching these videos, you get a better idea of the amount of work that goes into producing the piece. It's a tricky little bugger that catches you out. Just a little espresso cup. got lots to do so I won't video everything because that's taken hardcore to a whole new level um, but I will when I'm glazing I'll probably do a video just to give you an idea as to how I glaze probably the same as every other glazing video you've seen um, but I'm very simple in what I do And I also love producing. pottery to be very therapeutic it helps them with pain management and um, with the injury I've got it's um, brachial plexus injury so a lot of nerve damage um, pottery takes your mind off it it's just a chill out man I do post all of my finished pieces on Instagram. Um, just check out at One Arm Potter. I don't claim to be an expert in pottery. Um, just a guy who loves producing pottery, and I've learned, taught myself how to do it, despite having a use of one arm. Thanks for watching and um, I'll keep posting. Thanks guys.